One of the performance metrics that you'll hear talked about a lot is called time to first byte. TTFB is how you'll see it abbreviated. Time to first byte is the amount of time it takes for the browser to get the first byte of information from the server after it makes a request for a page or whatever the resource happens to be. So the time in between the request and the first byte received, that's called TTFB or time to first byte. Now this is after any DNS lookup and this is also after any SSL handshake is uh, time to first byte is calculated after that happens because the browser has to know where to make the request to, which means that the DNS has to resolve, uh, SSL has to connect, and then once it makes the connection, that's when the TTFB measurement begins. So I wanna look at how we can determine what our time to first byte is. And we're going to do that first using the Google Chrome browser. So I have here open a page on my personal website. And if I wanted to measure the time to first byte for this page, I would do that using the developer tools. We can access the developer tools under view, developer, and then developer tools. This opens up a pane off to the side or maybe down at the bottom with some tools on them. And there are tabs at the top and then some information below for each tab. We're gonna focus on the network tab. So let me reload my page so we can see the network requests that are happening here. This is all the network activity for the site. Okay, so you can see that we have a bunch of assets here, some CSS, JavaScript, uh, some web fonts. And then this first one is the request that is actually for the page resource. So this is the one I want to think about and look at. It is the main request here. 3.1 kilobytes. And I want to select that. I want to make sure it's selected. And I get another pane below it where I have some more tabs. Headers, where I can look at the headers. I can preview the markup. I can look at the response. I can look at cookies. But the one we want to look at is timing. This shows us the timing for this request. So the main thing we want to go to is this waiting line here, which has TTFB, so our time to first byte. And then it has a bar here showing how long that time to first byte took. In this case, it was 73.086 milliseconds. So that's how long it took the browser to get the first byte information from the server after making the request. So that's how we know. So I'm not gonna talk too much about why TTFB is important or why you would measure it. I'll do that in another video and in an upcoming course I have on web performance testing. But this is how you find TTFB using the Google Chrome developer tools. To find TTFB using another tool, we'll use webpagetest.org, which is a popular and very useful testing tool. So in webpagetest.org, you place in your URL and run a test. I've already run this because it can take a few minutes depending on how many tests you have it run and how busy the site is at the moment. So on my first view, I got, uh, here's my time to first byte, 0.293 seconds. And on my repeat view, I got 0.934 seconds for my first byte. Now I can dig in a little bit into this and I can go into details. And so here's the details. Again, here's my first byte. And if we go down, we can look here. This is our main uh, request here. This is the page itself. You can see this is similar to what we looked at before in the Google Chrome Dev Tools. But in this case, I'm seeing three different colored bars here. If we look up in our key, we can see that the first one is the DNS lookup. The second one is the initial connection. Now we don't have any SSL negotiation, so we don't worry about that. But the next one is the time to first byte. And that's this little green one right here. So you can see that time to first byte is separate than DNS lookup and initial connection. This entire thing took 208 milliseconds. Now, while we want to measure time to first byte, it's also important to measure how long it actually takes the page to start rendering because that's the perceived experience 
that the end user has. So that's how we can measure the time to first byte using the webpagetest.org tool. If you want to learn more about web performance testing, stay tuned to this blog and sign up for our newsletter because I'm going to give some more information about an upcoming course on web performance testing. I'm Ryan Ireland from Majingo.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.